I'm Professor Mohan from Department of Anthropology, Sikkim University. Today, uh, we are organizing a two-day national conference in celebrating the decadal growth of Department of Anthropology in Sikkim University. Me, along with my colleague, Dr. James, is also there. This event showcases how the Department of Anthropology has progressed over the years uh, in various aspects. This is the first department, uh, anthropology department in the entire Sikkim region, including Darjeeling. First PhDs we have produced, 10 years of master's students we have produced to have postdoctoral scholars. Department is also having a lot of consultancy, advocacy, works with the various governmental bodies like uh, Social Justice and Welfare Department, Tribal Research Institute, Government of Sikkim, Culture Department, Government of Sikkim, and uh, smaller NGOs that we have been there. Many scholars have visited and they are willing to work with the Department of Anthropology. Now the question comes here is that why Department of Anthropology in Sikkim? Sikkim as far as my understanding, my 10 year journey and my personal research all over Sikkim with all the 19 communities here is an excellent mosaic of a, a miniature world, I must say, in this region. You call it all the communities, distinct from one community to another community. Sikkim is like a potential region to understand in depth all these various ethnic communities which showcase their the authentic cultural characteristics that they have which are uh, very unique to this entire northeast region and to the uh, mainland India. There is we Department of Anthropology through their research scholars in uh, various uh, sub-disciplines like we have cultural anthropology, we have physical anthropology and we have now started archaeological anthropology and we have the, this is the first uh, ethnographic museum that we started in the Sikkim University. Anyone, it is open for public also where we are trying to showcase all the cultural heritage, both tangible and intangible heritage of all the 19 communities here. Uh, which is a, a, a good beginning step that uh, we would like to take it forward. And uh, uh, our scholars are mostly uh, working in this region. This is not only just pure academic research that we are interested. We want to reach out to the communities through various uh, aspects like policy making. For example, there are many developmental issues here, um, health, issue, health aspects that uh, we are also trying to uh, you know, understand and this research inputs definitely go a long way in the policy making and the government is also doing a, a good job, you know, in uh, taking uh, the welfare and the empowerment of all these uh, communities here. Overall, I can say that uh, Sikkim is a peaceful uh, society with a lot of uh, mutual respect and camaraderie uh, of uh, these uh, communities here. One time back uh, in, uh, in abroad, somebody asked me, uh, why Sikkim is so peaceful, why Sikkim is so harmonious. Everybody is there, violence, ethnic conflicts and all these things. I invited him, the, the uh, scholars from Europe, to come and study in Sikkim. You don't need to only study the conflict and the violence. You should also study how Sikkim is peaceful with all the mutual happy coexistence with all these communities here. I think various governments have already uh, extended uh, uh, their support, their encouragement, uh, their development uh, for all these communities over the years. And I think Sikkim is in the path of uh, prospering. Uh, to, to, to take this uh, prosperity development, we also need to understand uh, what is happening at the community level. In that sense, anthropology, anthropologies, anthropological studies, anthropological research inputs are very much in, uh, essential, not only uh, to the uh, administration, but to the bureaucracy, to all the other layers of uh, mechanism that is taking place. Uh, so we are going in that direction. And uh, this occasion, uh, we have all the stalwarts, the founding fathers are here, the former vice chancellor was here, which has also set forth a tone for, you know, to give what are the other potential areas uh, uh, to, to look into in the coming years. Uh, so we are going strength by strength. And the Department of Anthropology is no way inferior to 
any department, established departments in India. We are full-fledged now with faculty, with research scholars. We have proud alumni is there uh, who are being successfully done. Our first batch student is here, which is doing excellently. Anthropology may not be, may not have job opportunities in, in Sikkim in terms of uh, college lecturers or anything. But uh, we, there is a representation given, given by our former students that anthropology PhDs can also be taken for sociology and other allied disciplines. Hope, uh, I think, the government will consider the alumni request to start more anthropology courses at undergraduate level. We are confident about that because the popularity is increasing and our visibility in the government of Sikkim uh, and other areas, it is very well known. We have been involved in consultancy, we have been involved in other uh, areas to take our inputs uh, from here. Uh, we are thankful to the government also for encouraging us in, in other ways also. And uh, media is also doing a good job in, in covering various events and without media I don't think uh, uh, you know, uh, the information, uh, the knowledge dissemination cannot be catered. Media, I always feel that. So we have a special branch in anthropology called uh, media anthropology or visual anthropology, which, you know, we have to take, uh, disseminate, see, share the knowledge, events, wherever happening in the nook and corner of, uh, in this uh, region. Uh, we are so proud uh, today, so I welcome all the public also to come and see, visit our department uh, to see our achievements. Uh, and they also can contribute in, in whatever way they can uh, in participating in the future events. Uh, in that sense, I think uh, uh, we are, we are uh, uh, very glad and happy to announce that it has kick-start from today. It will also go tomorrow. Uh, we'll have more uh, uh, activities coming up, more research areas that we have been focused now. Uh, with this enthusiasm, I think we move forward as with all my colleagues, with the research scholars, with the students, we are going as one unit and I am so proud. And I, I, at a personal level also, I feel uh, uh, very, you know, uh, like a, a person, a wiser person in a sense that uh, I knew Sikkim before when I was in a college student. I had a, a, a friend who came to study in, uh, in Vishakhapatnam. Only then we came to know that there is a state called Sikkim. We used to get confused with uh, other areas, what is this? When I came as a prof joined as a faculty member in Sikkim University, my knowledge, my understanding has expanded. I think my colleagues also will agree with me. My 10 years journey at a personal level, department is growing, I am also growing in one way, uh, which has enriched my deeper understanding of all these communities. Name it religion, name it uh, language, name it rituals, name it uh, any, any cultural aspect of uh, Sikkim communities which has broadened my understanding, my horizon, not only Sikkim and Sikkim beyond. Um, so this is a fruitful journey from my personal side and from the department also, I think uh, uh, we are going very, very well with the help of uh, administration. Sikkim University is extending uh, all kinds of uh, possible help for our uh, various activities uh, uh, in, in for the growth of department. Yeah, we, we, can, we can say. Uh, we are so thankful for uh, this coverage also. Now I give it to my colleague to speak something. As a coordinator of this, uh, one of the coordinator of this seminar, I would like to uh, highlight the point that Sikkim, uh, in particular in Northeast, is a uh, cultural hotspot just as it is a, and uh, it's not, uh, what do you call, biodiversity hotspot. And this, we are in the phase where many of these languages, culture are on the verge of extinction, just as many uh, biodiversity is uh, experiencing extinction. So the role of anthropology is to see that anthropogenic, that means human, uh, anthropocentric, human-centric attitude has to be changed and then play the role, as the keynote address had uh, nicely mentioned today, that we need to accept and we need to respect our core, uh, core creatures of uh, other biological uh, members, the birds, the river ecosystem, the trees. And we, for our survivor, all these are equally important. That is the one message that should come out of this uh, event. Thank you.